All right, guys, Fern here, best hour of their day. What I would like to go over today is a different variation for bar muscle-ups specifically. So Rogue makes these, what they're called kids pull-up bars. So if you're searching on Rogue, it's where you would find it. Here's what I'll tell you though, you can put full grown people on here. We do it all the time. Rogue makes fantastic gear. Um, but this is a great substitute for bar muscle-ups for a couple reasons. I can avoid bands and boxes and I can largely keep the athlete on the ground, which is the safest way to go about that. So I'm gonna have Katie demonstrate one first and then we're gonna walk through this. Okay, go ahead and hop on that side. A couple things when you do this, I still want her to go to a full extension of the arms. So just go to the bottom position for me, Katie. So at the bottom, I want her to be in this position so she can still execute the kind of kip swing portion of that. And at the top, I'm gonna have her jump and use her legs to get to the top. So just do one full one here, Katie. Good, nice, cool. So a couple ways I would know that this is a little bit too low for Katie is she's catching with, the bar, with her arms almost locked out. So if I bring this up just a little bit, so I brought that up about four inches, and that's the other thing I like about these, depending on what your, rogue, your rig looks like, you can make very, very minor adjustments to this. Um, the downfall of this one is, because the feet are on the floor and we can use the legs quite a bit, you don't need as much pulling strength in order to execute the bar muscle up until you get a little bit higher. But I'm gonna have her execute this one. I think this one's probably gonna be appropriate, difficult. Let, but, and for the record, Katie does have bar muscle ups as prescribed, so. <laughs> Good, and relax, cool. So, a couple things. I like to keep the athlete's feet on the floor because again, it is the safest variation to do that. You can use rubber bands, all of those scales are, they're good, but they can get a little squirrely if you've been coaching for a while. Now, a couple things that I want to, how about swing on this side for me, Katie? A couple things I wanna think about as I'm going through. The, the main reason I like this one is because we can focus largely on the transition. CrossFit, we do a ton of overhead pulling, so we're gonna get toes to bar, we're gonna get pull-ups, we're gonna get ring rows, we can still get all of that pulling. Really what I'm gonna use this for is transition to getting into better positions. So what I'm gonna have Katie do is hop on the side for me again, Katie. And then what I wanna focus on here is two positions. I wanna focus on the down position, so have you come, come to an extended position down at the bottom. I wanna make sure that she's coming forward. And on the top position, I want her to focus on getting her shoulders and chest over the bar, so go ahead and do one for me, Katie, and hold that kind of bottom position to the bottom of the dip. Let me get up here. Yep. Good, okay, so what I would have Katie do here is rotate the knuckles, so her knuckles are forward, not quite that far, right there. So I'd have her get her knuckles facing a little bit further down, go ahead and come on down. Because what that's gonna allow her to do is be a little bit more aggressive on the turnover. So do one more, do how you normally do it. What I'm looking for here is the speed of transition because what I want to happen is I wanna get the elbows pointed towards the ceiling as quickly as we can to get an aggressive turnover. So do one more. Elbows, boom. I wanna get to that position. Notice that one was significantly faster than the first one that she did, come on down. And largely because she's changing her hand position, she's rotating her hands and I'm getting to a knuckles down position. Her hands, her knuckles are not gonna be down towards the floor, but most of your athletes are gonna know because they're gonna get stuck with their knuckles facing directly forward, which is gonna leave the elbow back behind where it's not gonna allow them to turn over and get the press out. So a couple cues I can use here. I can use knuckles down or I can use head down in that position. Both of them will typically facilitate the same thing. But notice again, we'll do one last one. Again, what I'm focused on here is getting the transition of the elbow so she can go knuckles down quickly. So focus right here as she makes the transition. That transition is significantly faster than the first one where she started, largely because her hands are not moving on the bar. So when I use something like this, I can focus very much on the transition instead of worrying about all of the upper body pulling strength. Again, that's why I love to use this one. We're still gonna continue to work on all the upper body, the upper body pulling portions. That's why we have tons of pull-ups, ring rows, barbell bent over rows. We can do that. Sometimes I need the athlete to focus on one aspect of a movement. For these adjustable pull-up bars, this is a fantastic tool to start working on bar muscle-up transitions. I can make incremental changes to start making this more and more difficult essentially using less of the leg as they get through that. So if you haven't looked into these, I highly recommend it. We've gotten a lot of athletes to bar muscle ups by having these available to us. And there's virtually very little safety risk involved because they're doing most everything with their feet on the ground. So if you got questions about different ways we've used it, we've used these for toes to bar, for push ups. You can do a ton of stuff. This is a very, very serious uh, piece of equipment with regard to its utility, so I highly recommend it. Um, but a couple things, and it allows you to focus in very much like really focusing in on like a wall squat or a squat therapy, where I can focus on one aspect, particularly here 
the transition. So hit us up if you have questions. Also, look into these adjustable pull-up rigs.